I'm going to invite you to go ahead and sit or lay down on your yoga mat, making sure that the space that you've chosen for your practice today is relatively free of distraction. And what that means is if there's somebody cooking in the kitchen and you're laying right next to them, or you've got the TV on, you can either acknowledge that those noises exist and you can accept them, or you can move yourself into a place that's a little less uh, distracting. So now that we're in our position, most of us are going to take what's called Shavasana. So go ahead and just roll those shoulders down into the floor, moving our head kind of side to side until the very flat part of the head is resting on the floor, the nose pointing straight up to the ceiling. Then we've got our hands on the ground so that our palms are raised towards the ceiling, allowing our shoulders to really relax. Noticing your legs as well. I want your legs to be uncrossed and you can let your feet kind of fall out to the side a little bit. And we'll just hold this for a, for a minute or so, noticing how that feels to just lay on the ground, not be required to think about anything, not be required to do anything. And while we're lying here, I'll ask that we now pay attention to our breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the nose, noticing your stomach rising with your breath in, and then noticing how everything softens and relaxes as you breathe out. Noticing too, if maybe you are congested or you have a cold or your allergies are acting up, it doesn't feel good to breathe through your nose. It's okay to breathe through your mouth, that's fine. We just want to really encourage that our face stays relaxed, our shoulders stay calm. Now with our next inhale, I'll invite everyone to bring our arms all the way up over our head. Nice big stretch. You can reach those arms out long. Maybe feel a stretch through the shoulders, the rib cage. Take that nice big stretch. Hold this for just a couple more breaths. And then we're going to start to slowly release those arms down. Bring our knees into our chest and give ourselves that wonderful big hug. Nice big hug here, rocking right to left, side to side. Noticing any knots in the lower back, any tight spots. Keeping a hold of our knees, go ahead and start to roll through those feet and ankles. Working through our ankles, noticing what's going on, any cricks or cracks. And we'll stretch out one leg at a time. Keeping a hold of our right knee, lower that left leg all the way down to the ground. Pulling our right knee open and out towards our right shoulder. Doesn't move very far. Keeping both hips flat, really trying to press that left leg down into the floor. That's gonna help start to lengthen and open across the front of our head. Then we bring the knee over towards our left shoulder, still hugging the thigh in towards the belly, maybe feeling a stretch coming on the outside of that right hip. Now this is our warm up in our yoga class, so nothing too big, just very gentle. We'll bring the knee in through the middle and slowly lower all the way down. Taking that left knee in, We'll open the leg out towards the left shoulder, pressing the right leg firmly down into the ground. And notice now how this side feels. Sometimes we're different left to right. And then we'll bring that knee across towards the right shoulder. Nice little hug, feeling a stretch through that left hip. Bringing the leg through the middle and slowly release, amazing. From here, let's take our feet flat on the floor, bring our heels in nice and close. Knees are placed about hips width distance apart. And if you're not sure if you're doing the legs right, notice that your hip bones right on the front 
They're the same distance about as your shoulder bones. So shoulders, hips, and knees. You want them to be all the same measurement wide. Arms are down by our sides. Roll those shoulders into the mat and then lift our hips up to the ceiling. Some of us will feel this in our back as we lower down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, lift up. Some of us will feel a stretch through the belly or the thighs. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, making sure you're squeezing your glute muscle. This is good activation for your hips. Exhale, lower. And one more, ready? Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release. Good stuff, take our arms out to the side. Lift our knees up 90 degrees. We're going to get some windshield wipers. Slowly lowering the legs over to your right. Keep your shoulders pressed onto the floor. Lift your knees up. Slowly lower over to the left. Start working through the back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right. Inhale, lift. Very good control. Over to the left. Inhale, lift to the middle. One more each side. Exhale, right. Inhale, middle. And exhale, left. Inhale, middle. Release those feet down to the ground. Slowly work ourselves up and over onto all fours in our tabletop position. Hands come directly beneath our shoulders. Knees are right underneath our hips. You want to pull your bellies in and have your backs really flat as if you were balancing your teacup right on top of your back. Taking our spinal balance, we lift our right arm forward, thumb to the ceiling, left leg back behind us, and lower down. Inhale, left. Exhale, release. Inhale, right, trying to create a straight line. Exhale, down. Inhale, left. Exhale. Inhale, right, and it looks like you're shaking someone's hand, right? How you've got your hand position. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, left. Exhale down. Now we hold it here. Take our cats and cows. Untuck your tailbone. Inhale, open your chest. Look tall through front of head. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. Round the back. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, round up really nice and high. And then press back into child's pose. Think back to your hips, reach those arms forward, and then try to relax your head down. From here, we'll work through our shoulders a little bit, walking those hands over to the right edge of our mat. Left hand comes on top, and then we pull back into that left hip. This is such a nice stretch down that whole left side of your body, especially through that left shoulder. Let's walk our hands through the middle, over to the left edge of the mat. Place your right hand on top, and then pull into that right hip. coming through the middle. And now come forward all the way into your kneeling plank for our flow series. We stop in kneeling plank, check your shoulders are above your wrists, pull your bellies in with nice flat back, and now bend your elbows, lowering into baby crocodile. It can be little or it can be right above the floor. Without bending your back, you push straight up using those tricep muscles into kneeling plank, and then back into child's pose. We'll do that three more times. Inhale, coming forward into kneeling plank. Exhale, chaturanga, holding baby crocodile. Inhale, press straight up into kneeling plank. Exhale, push back. Inhale, forward, really working on our control. Exhale, lower into a hovering position. Inhale, press straight up. Exhale, push back. And last one, inhale forward. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up. Exhale, push back. Taking a moment, noticing how we're feeling. Really let your head come down towards or on the floor. Sink those hips down into your heels. And we'll get ready for thread the needle. Take that right arm, thread it all the way underneath your left shoulder and just lay into that right ear if you're able to. Take a couple big breaths here. Now slowly releasing through the middle. We'll switch to the other side. Taking that left arm, put it underneath your right. Now notice that I have my palm raised towards the ceiling. So I really reach the arm across the middle. Then laying into that left ear. Coming through the middle. Take your time and come up to down dog. With all fours on the ground, we push away from our hands, lift our hips high, and then start pedaling through our feet. Toe to heel. Now some days this is a little bit more intense than others, so pay attention to how this is feeling as you massage the feet, stretch up through the calves. All right, and then just press those feet. Try to get the heels as close down to the ground as you can. Knees can be as bent as you need them to be. A little bend is okay, but the backs, that's what we want to be straight. See how flat my back is from tailbone all the way down through my shoulders into my hands? That's what we want really flat. The knees can be a bit bent. And from here, we'll take a cobra stretch, coming all the way forward into our plank position. We can take our knees to the ground and then chaturanga completely lowering onto our stomach. Lifting up into cobra, whether it's a baby cobra or full. And then press back into down dog or child's pose if you prefer. We'll do that flow series one more time. Inhaling forward into plank. Maybe you bring your knees down, maybe you keep them up. Slowly exhale as you chatter and go lower. Inhale, cobra stretch, lift up. And exhale, press back, down dog or child pose. Amazing. Let's come into tabletop position. We're about to find our first lunge series. Just make sure that we're happy here as we step our right foot forward. I'll stay facing the side so that you can see all my angles. Bringing your knee on top of your ankle. See how we're always building foundation up. And then the back leg is as far as it can be so that when we come all the way up, we'll find ourselves in a nice balanced position here. Hips level, shoulders facing that front right foot. We want our left hip, so the hip that's back, we want to stretch all the way up. Let's bring our arms nice and tall if we're able to. Bend a little bit further forward into that front knee. And then I want you to make sure you can wiggle your toes. So if you notice that you're in a lunge and you can't wiggle your toes, it's probably because you need to step your foot further forward. Now hold yourself up nice and tall, relax those shoulders down. Maybe we can close our eyes today. All right, now while we're here, stay where you are. I want us to add in a tricep stretch. So go ahead and take with your right foot forward, your left elbow bends, and then just guide it with your right hand. Now as we hold this really nice and tall, what I don't want us to do is collapse our chin to our chest. So keep that chin lifted, your neck long, and try not to pull the shoulder. Keep that shoulder down. Really nice position. Very good. Now we'll come down with our hands to the floor. Hopefully your balance is okay here. You're gonna keep your left hand on the ground as we twist our lunge. Open that right arm high to the sky. This right knee stays stacked above your right ankle. If anyone's shoulder is really buggy, you can take your hand to your hip or even just relax it down. But we wanna keep opening up through the collar. Some of us may feel this stretch in the right hip or mostly through the shoulder. 
Now let's slowly release both hands to the floor. We'll take a little bit of a half and hamstring stretch. So I want you to rock back. Now you're picking that right toe up off the ground. And now if it's a little bit too intense today to keep your hands on the floor, feel free to come up onto your hips. Or if anyone has yoga blocks at home, this is a great time to put your hands on those yoga blocks. We're gonna hold this hamstring stretch. And I want to encourage everyone to play with whether you point your foot or you flex it, whether you come up higher or if you come lower, because that's gonna change your stretch. Looks great, everybody. Just nice, slow breathing. And are you feeling it mostly in your calf or more up high in your hamstring? Depends what you were doing this week. Deadlifts or squats or running, that sort of stuff. Now slowly, we're going to come back up through that lunge so that we can step that leg back and then we'll sit back into child pose. Give ourselves a nice break. Then we'll get ready to do it on the other side. We start by coming up into tabletop. Take our left foot all the way between our hands, stacking knees right on top of ankle. And see how this back leg, I've got a nice big angle there for a stretch. When you're able to, lift your hands up and then try to square your hips and your shoulders as we bend forward, making sure you can wiggle those front toes. Lift the arms all the way high, but pull the shoulders down. Now let's pull this stretch, opening up through that right hip. Now that we've been holding our runner's lunge, we should be feeling an awesome stretch here, hopefully. We'll do our tricep stretch too. Now we take that right elbow, bend it. See how I take my hand and I actually hold my shoulder? Guiding it with the left arm, just a little pull, just a little bit, keeping the chin off the chest. If you collapse your chin, you're probably hiding the tricep. You really want to make that tricep lengthen. Give it a really good stretch, the one that it deserves. Now from here, we'll slowly release the arm all the way down to the floor, holding your runner's lunge, getting ready for twisted lunge. Right hand stays on the ground, left arm opens nice and tall. Remember the option, you can take the hand down to the back of the hip, as long as that collar stays open. And you want that left knee to stay right on top of the ankle. Good. Noticing where you're feeling this, if it's in the left hip or maybe the shoulder. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, release. Now we back it up into our calf hamstring stretch. So I like to slowly ease into this one. Slowly straighten out my legs. On this leg, it seems like I have to come up a bit higher first. So remember in yoga, we have no expectation. We don't know how we're going to feel until we do it. And that changes every day because of the different stuff we do throughout the week. Slowly breathe into it. And then maybe you need to play with whether you're pointing or flexing. Amazing. All right, let's slowly come up through that lunge, sweep the leg around, and come back into child pose again. Really trying to get those hips down nice and low and reach those arms really long. All right, we are coming up through tabletop again, but this time into a kneeling position. Walk your hands all the way up, getting ready for a chest stretch. Now this chest stretch is with camel pose. So what I like to do, I'm gonna make sure you can see my feet, curl your toes underneath of you. It's not often in yoga that I tell you to curl your toes. Normally I'm always telling you to flatten them. So today we're going to tuck them underneath of us. And then I want you to pay attention to your hips, making sure that your hips aren't coming way back or way forward. I want your hips to stay stacked on top of your knees. That being said, we'll take our fists 
and put them above your bum, right on your lower back. Then I want you to squeeze those elbows together as tight as they'll go. So mine have a little bit of space between them. You squeeze them together. Keep your bellies in, keep your hips right on top of your knees. Don't let them sit back. And then puff your chest and look up to the ceiling. Keep squeezing those elbows. Squeeze your tummy muscles. Now some of us are gonna stay here. Other people, we may want to go a little bit deeper. So then you'll reach right hand to right heel, left hand to left heel. Keep those hips pushing above your knees. So keep pushing those heels, push those hips forward. And this is as far as we're going to go today. So whether you've got your hands on your back or your heels, you're really puffing your chest, pushing your hips forward. Take one more big breath here. And then slowly, slowly come all the way up. Untuck those toes. And then, oh my goodness, child pose. Couple big breaths. Head break. Slowly working our way up into downward facing dog again. Feel free to wiggle your hips, walking the dog or staying still in place. And we'll walk our hands and feet together, coming halfway up into monkey. Pull those hands up onto your shins or your thighs as our backs become parallel with the floor. See how my knees are a little bit bent, but my back is straight. And I'm looking at my floor ahead of my feet. Pull the belly in, really squeeze those shoulders together. And slowly soften those knees. Inhale, lift all the way up nice and tall to prayer. And exhale, release. If anyone's seeing stars or a little bit dizzy, just take your time. Maybe this is a good time to invite everyone to grab a quick drink if you've got one. If you haven't grabbed a drink in a while, feel free to take one now. Um, and we are going to get ready to do a couple warrior poses. So with our warrior pose, we start at the very top of our mat and I'm going to face forward and I'll turn sideways in case anyone needs a couple different views. With our right foot stepping forward, press that left foot about hips width distance apart back so that your heel is coming down to the floor. Notice how I'm kind of sideways. I, I, I don't look like I'm set up properly because I'm not. Your hips, they need to turn to face forward with your right knee. And your shoulders stack on top, so you're not all twisty. That's gonna really help with your balance. You're drawing a straight line up through belly button, all the way up to your nose. Now take those arms up nice and tall if you're able to. Roll your shoulders down, and with your bellies really tight, let's bend a little bit farther forward into your right knee. Okay, so stay where you are. I'm just gonna show you from the side. See how my heels on the ground, my hips and shoulders are facing forward. And now from here, we're going to take a chest stretch. So we bring our arms behind us. If you're able to interlace your fingers, I want you to interlace them like you're squeezing a clementine. So you can't quite clasp me, you're squeezing a clementine. And then roll your shoulders back. Roll them back. And now if you're able to, see if we can look up to the ceiling. Otherwise, you can keep looking forward. And if the hands are not clasping today, just reach your arms behind you. How's that feel for everybody? It looks really good. All right, from here, let's take those arms all the way back up again. And now with your right foot staying forward, we're going to bend our left elbow again into that tricep stretch. You look like this. So one more tricep stretch. Now, if anyone wants it, I'm about to turn around so you can see me from the back. You've got your right arm up in tricep. You can bind it by bringing your left arm behind you. And you can interlace your fingers this way. And this gives us a really nice tricep stretch too keeping your chin off your chest. Good, let's hold that for one more inhale. Exhale, release the arms, straightening out the legs. 
Now we're about to fold forward into our hamstring stretch. So I like to actually bring my legs a bit closer together and then fold forward into pyramid. So hinge at your hips. Come all the way down until you feel a stretch. Your hands may stay on your hips, your thighs, your shin, the floor, wherever they reach. There's no set destination that your hands have to be on. Again, if you had yoga blocks at home, you could be holding those blocks instead. And I want you to pay attention to what you're feeling. With really nice flat back, you should be able to feel a hamstring stretch. Now slowly, slowly, I want you to get just a little bit lower for the last two breaths, whatever that may look like today. Slowly bend your leg, step both feet to the very top of your mat if you're able to. Come halfway up into monkey. Pull those shoulder blades together. Very good. And now from monkey, we're going to fold forward completely. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. Now maybe your hands are on the floor. Maybe you've got them holding either elbow and ragdoll. So ragdoll position. Or you can have them holding onto your legs. Whatever feels comfortable. Make sure your neck is released. I like to shake my head no. And then finish with that nodding of the head yes. Make sure that you're not holding too much tension in your neck. And we'll slowly bend the knees and take so much time rolling up. One vertebrae at a time. Slow, slow, slow. And again, if you're seeing stars, you get a little bit dizzy, you try to go a little bit slower. Just take your time as you come up because we're about to switch and do that whole warrior series on the left leg. If you needed to grab a drink, please feel free to do that. We'll take our left foot forward into warrior one. We bend the left knee, press that right leg all the way back. Again, if you feel like you're out of place, you probably are. Bring those hip bones, stack them so that they're level, and then all the way level up top, bringing the arms into position, roll those shoulders down. Push both feet flat into the floor as we bend forward into that left knee. Really try to bring your belly in. Sometimes in warrior one, we let our rib cage open and our back sway to see if we can just staple everything a little bit tighter. And we'll get ready for that tricep stretch to come into play as well. Taking that right arm, bend it, guiding it with the left hand. And then there's that option to bring the hand behind, you can bind it. So my arms are doing this. You may find that one side is easier than the other to do the bound position. Maybe that's not happening today. And we can release those arms from tricep, bring them down, and we'll add in that chest expansion stretch again. So interlacing your fingers like you're holding the clementine, roll the shoulders down, reach them behind you, and then puff the chest up. Keep your bellies in, keep reaching forward into that left knee. Should be able to wiggle those left toes. Very good, everybody. We can slowly release those arms, holding onto our hips, straightening out both legs. Again, I've had to walk my name just a little bit so I have better control. We'll go ahead and hinge into our pyramid pose. Nice and flat. And then when you feel the stretch, just hold it. And like I've mentioned throughout the class today, there's no expectations. Left and right side could be very different. Rather than a expecting a pose to look or feel a certain way. I want you just to explore. Hold it where it feels good. Slow, deep breaths. A 
little bit lower for the last two breaths. Now softening that knee, stepping both feet to the very top of our mat, coming up halfway into monkey. Pull the shoulders together, flattening everything out. And we'll get ready to come into our last forward fold. Slowly starting to fold completely over the legs. Legs are as straight as they can be without being locked. Little bend in the knee. And then allow your head just to relax down. Hands again can be on the floor in rag doll or around the legs. If you had a yoga block, you could fold that. Softening those knees. Hands come down. Knees come down into tabletop. And then you can take either down dog or child pose. Finding that stretch that your body is really asking for right now. Down dog's a little bit more active, so taking that if you need a bigger stretch. Whereas child pose is much more passive and relaxing if you'd like to take a few deep breaths. Now from wherever we are, let's come forward into our plank position, full or kneeling, chaturanga, complete lower all the way down to the mat. Lifting up into cobra when you're ready. Slowly, we'll push back into child's pose all together. Really lowering ourselves down, noticing how this feels. Slowly coming all the way up. We're going to sit down for a moment. Just sitting comfortably. Make sure that you're not all twisted. And we'll find a couple of neck stretches before we relax completely down on our mat. So sitting comfortably, uh, I like lotus pose. That's comfortable for me, but if you need to take your legs out or come onto your knees to sit, that's fine. As long as we're really tall with good posture. We'll take our right ear down and then press that left arm away. Some people find it helpful to take that free hand and sit on it if that gives a little bit of an extra pull. If that's not helpful for you, just feel free to keep that on your knee. Coming up through the middle, let's take the ear down to the other side and we can press that hand away and just notice. What are you feeling down this right side? Good, coming up through the middle. Go ahead and take a couple of shoulder rolls. And then we'll work our knees in, legs out, and then take a straddle. Wherever your straddle is today, this is our last seated stretch. We're going to take a lateral extension. Start by bringing your hands to the inside of your leg, so knuckles grazing the inside of your leg. Now take that left arm, reach it all the way up as we reach the right hand towards right foot. Now what I want you to do is keep both sides of your hips, both legs flat on the floor, heels on the ground with your toes pointing straight up to the ceiling, and then make sure that your chest doesn't collapse. Let's keep the shoulder, that left arm reaching tall if we can. That looks so good. Lifting tall, let's bring both hands to the inside of the leg. Now reach the left hand towards the foot and that right hand open. So again, if you notice you're kind of falling in, just sit that right hip back, open that right shoulder, know where your arm is, working on that facial awareness. Amazing. Let's lift all the way up. And now just shake those legs out. If anyone wants to put a sweater on or if you've got your blanket or your sock nearby that you'd like to do, we're going to be laying down on the mat, finding our last stretch before we meditate. This last stretch will be our spinal balance. 
So we can have our legs down straight to begin. Arms come out to the side. Let's all together lift our right knee up 90 degrees and lower all the way over to the left. Try to keep your shoulders flat on the floor as we look over that right arm. Now you might be feeling this in your right shoulder, the chest, maybe even the back or that right hip. Pay attention to that. That tells you where you need to maybe do some more stretching this weekend. Inhale, lift the knee up. Exhale, lower down. We'll do the other side. Inhale, lift the left knee. Exhale, lowering over to the right. And just make sure that shoulder is trying to stay down to the floor. Relax that top leg. Then we can look over the left arm 